What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, so um, there's been a lot of talk about ECR regeneration when it comes to the new rank rewards. And one of the ideas that was floated out uh, was the idea that I I've been championing until Godzilla talked me out of it last week, which is to spend a voucher in order to regenerate your ECR somewhat. Then during the town hall last night, we, uh, you know, Matt talked about an ECR potion that could be purchased with voucher. So that's kind of in line with where we had been thinking. The other idea, and this has not been thrown out by me, but um, I definitely would champion it and have been championing it, is the idea of having staked SP or SPS be, uh, you know, one of the benefits being a, an additional like you know a, additional like regeneration or reduced usage of your ECR. So what do I mean by that? Not, sorry, I know there's a bunch of numbers here, but what I mean by that is right now, whenever your ECR, whenever you play a game, your ECR goes down by 1%. Again, that's 1% relative, not absolute. So when you're at 100% ECR and you play a game, you go down 1% from 100% to 99%. But then when you are, let's say you're at 50% ECR, you go down 1% of 50%. So your ECR doesn't drop from 50% to 49%. It drops half a percent because you're at 50% ECR. So it drops from 50 to 49.5. That way you can never really get your ECR to zero. Um, I mean, maybe you can if you're just playing and skipping, playing and skipping. But uh, technically you never would be able to because you're always going to reduce it by 1%. So it's like, uh, I forgot that math term, but you know, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. So I like the idea of staking SPS for either ECR regeneration, a faster regeneration, or the idea was maybe you reduce it. So instead of it being reduced by 1% relative every time, maybe you reduce it by 0.9% if you have a certain amount of SPS staked. So that's the preface for this. Here's the numbers breakdown because I was curious about this and I, I talked about it in a recent live stream, but I actually wanted to see what the numbers would look like. So excuse the, the crude formatting on this and you know this is just this is just the visual that I was using for myself, but I figured I'd share it for the purposes of the video. But on this uh, left column here. So column A, this is the number of, we'll say like active accounts or players that are currently in the game, right? So with the new rewards update, we've dropped down to like 130 some days, 150, 170,000. I'm just for context, trying to see what this would look like at 100,000 players, 150,000 players, 400,000, which is kind of the daily active users we saw previously. And then if we were ever to hit 1 million, what that would look like. On the top row, this first one, well, actually, let me go to row two first. This is the amount of SPS you would need to have staked. So I'm looking at 1,000, 5,000, or 10,000. And then the row above it is just the corresponding price right now with SPS around 80, or sorry, eight cents. Um, this is how much it would cost, right? what, what the investment would be in the game in order to take advantage of uh, you know this supposed benefit or potential benefit, I should say. So you know, at a thousand SPS, it's going to cost you eighty bucks right now. Five thousand is four hundred. Ten thousand SPS is eight hundred. So here's where it gets interesting. And actually, let me let me do some some formatting while we're here because I want to go ahead and mark these red. Now the reason for that is because there is a three billion token cap of which that's already been reduced due to the fact that we've burned some for the node license sale. So if we were to look at, let's say just a thousand SPS, um, what, what we see here is that if there's a thousand SPS required and all accounts are trying to take advantage of this for, you know, slightly reduced ECR benefit, which I think is worth it in the long run, especially if you play, whether you are a human player or a bot player, why wouldn't you want to do this? Because in addition to this, you also get, you know, staking rewards and vouchers and all that stuff. If every account were to stake 1000 SPS, that would lock up 100 million SPS. Now, current circulation is about... 700 or eight, sorry, 800 million. And the total, like I said, is going to be a little less than 3 billion at this point. So right now, this wouldn't move the needle much. But what if we were initially to look at like 5,000 or 10,000 SPS, making this somewhat of like a premium that if you are heavily invested in the game, then you would get that kind of benefit. Well, at 10,000 SPS in order to get this benefit for 100,000 players, 
that's going to lock up 1 billion SPS. We don't even have 1 billion SPS in circulation right now. So the point that I'm trying to make is imagine what that would do to the price if people wanted to take advantage of this and they wanted to start stacking and staking their SPS and essentially locking it up for the benefit. That would take a ton of supply off the market and create demand across these 100,000 players. So that might be a little much, right? Sure, maybe maybe this is where we start off at, but as the game continues to grow, you can clearly see that 10,000 is not scalable, right? Once we hit 400,000 daily active users, again, who all want to have this, we hit 4 billion total tokens that there's never gonna be 4 billion SPS, hopefully. There's never gonna be 4 billion SPS tokens in existence, right? Let alone, let alone 10 billion. So you can't scale it with a single price. This is gonna have to be somewhat of a moving target that over time decreases due to the fact that player growth is coming in. And maybe, you know, I would leave this up to, to the discretion of the team. They could change it as they see fit, but essentially the prices would be reduced over time, right? So let's say we start off with 10,000. So this is like a premium. And then maybe once we once we get to like 400,000 uh, daily active users again, or maybe when we hit a certain number of spell books, whatever the case is, we can move it down to 5,000. And then all of a sudden these new players who are coming in want to buy SPS. It's available. Uh, they'll have to buy it from either the, the OGs or or they have to just buy it from the new dilution that's that, that'll be happening over the next five years. Either way, it creates demand. And so, you know, let's say we go from like uh, 10,000 to 5,000 once we hit that 400K, that's 2 billion tokens right there. Now, you know, we could go to 400,000 daily active users again if bots come back into play in, in, in strong force. But I'm not as worried about bots anymore because bots need to be contributing members of the economy. And I wouldn't mind them locking up SPS if they were chasing this, right? Because then that that just means that they are treating the game like any other real player would, where there is demand for at least the minimum amount of SPS in order to take advantage. Um, now, would you know somebody who's running 10,000 bots want to pay $400 per account at this point in time? Probably not, but that's why it makes it scalable and you can make this a premium over time. And then once you get to, you know, let's say we get a million players, Sure. At that point in time, maybe you do a thousand SPS, maybe you do 2000 SPS. Again, these are just rough numbers here, but I wanted to see what this would look like with a 3 billion cap. And it makes sense to me, right? It just, I don't know. L let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you, if you think that it would be a good idea, if you think it'd be helpful for SPS to me, this gives it ongoing uh, daily utility that players at the highest levels and at the lowest levels will want to get if they want to continue getting some kind of benefit for their, uh, you know, for, for staking their SPS and for playing the game and having um, some kind of ECR regeneration or ECR use reduction, consumption reduction. So, you know, when, when I look at this again, these numbers aren't perfect. It's just we could lock up so much SPS. We could create so much demand for SPS with one small change that every player who actually is interested in the game and wants to play more would try to take advantage of, right? So even if we were to start with a thousand SPS per day, locking up a hundred thousand, right? Or sorry, a hundred million SPS or 150 million SPS, making sure that, you know, accounts that want to take advantage of this are going after it. That'd be great. I mean, look, there's, there's, you know, massive accounts out there, massive uh, SPS whale accounts out there that have a ton already tied up that probably aren't going to sell. So even just creating some type of demand for SPS, because right now there's none. So even creating some kind of ongoing demand for SPS would move the market, in my opinion. And at the end of the day, it's not about prices. I'm not really worried. Yeah, of course, I want SPS to go to the moon. I'm not hiding that. And I'm, but I'm not trying to make price predictions on where this will go. I'm just trying to find what is the utility. This token is going to go to zero if there's no utility in the long run and that's that's a little harsh it's a little extreme but my obviously i don't think the token is going to go to zero otherwise i wouldn't be stacking it the way that i am but the thing is we we're just not seeing the utility and i feel like this is an easy implementation for something that the community is actually asking for and sorry when i say easy implementation i'm not a coder so i don't know what it would look like uh on the back end but in terms of it being something that the community wants that makes sense with where the game currently is at what some of the gripes are I think that this is an easy win, right? An easy win in the sense that if they were to deliver something like this and give it to SPS stakers, that would be awesome. 
Sure, you can do it through vouchers, but um, I, I want there to be more value to actually staking SPS because, well, I mean, that's that's what the team is trying to drive people to do, to stake SPS. So hopefully we'll see some kind of benefits like these in the future, but this is just the raw numbers breakdown of what I wanted to share with you guys and, uh, and to get your opinion. You know, is this something that you think would make sense? Do you have a better idea that you're willing to share? Because keep in mind, once this DAO hopefully goes live, um, we'll be able to start we'll be able to start voting you know making proposals and voting on potential changes within the game or voting for things to come through and you know i'm not saying that this is worth voting for but at least it's worth considering the idea as more as, as different ideas are floated around for ecr regeneration that's something that people are really passionate about right now and you gotta love that right you gotta love that people want to play the game even more and find a way they're willing to pay more in certain ways in order to get more out of the game that's exactly the kind of behavior we want to continue incentivizing, right? People want more, they're willing to pay more, they're willing to pay either for SPS or they're willing to pay, you know, vouchers, so they're giving the value to SPS stakers, right? One way or another, we, we need to find a way to, to bridge that gap. And I think I think that this is a at least a way worth considering. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game. Take care.